here we go. As I just said to Tia Fima, I said, finally, finally, after months, it feels like years of waiting, we are ready to go on Saturday night here at Madison Square Garden, live on DAZN all around the world. Of course, the WBO, the WBA, the WBC franchise, the Ring Magazine, the IBF, all of these belts on the line on Saturday night for a tremendous fight that we've waited so, so long for. Delighted to be welcomed by the champion up here, his father, the trainer as well, Tiafimo okay. Senior, George Cambosis and Javier, welcome as well. Okay, um, George, I'm going to start with you. This has been an unbelievable process, an unbelievable journey back, forwards. We hoped, we prayed we would get this fight, we've got it. You're just a couple of days away now for your chance at history, your chance at legacy, and doesn't get any bigger than this. Yeah, look, it has been a very uh, long road, but I've stayed very focused. Kept my total vision unbelievable. And I feel I'm unbreakable right now. And it's an absolute it's pleasure, pleasure to have this fight on your promotion and the zone. Fight. So um, we are ready, we're ready for war. We have been ready for a long time. I've been ready since June. I, mean, I was there, I've been patient. I've been there every single day, ready to fight. He has been. Obviously we saw yesterday some fun and games. You seem to remain calm. Uh, here right now. I've seen you being outspoken previously and on social media as well, but enjoying the moment, enjoying the intensity of this fight. Obviously, there's, I don't know whether I want to call it bad blood, but a lot of words exchanged previously, but you saw that yesterday as well, but trying to remove yourself from that, or are you you soaking it all up as well? well? Look, I'm dressed here for business, and this ain't personal for me. It's personal for him, for whatever delusional reason he has, but I'm here for business. That's why I'm dressed like this, a full break. Cool, calm, collected. I'm ready for a war. I'm ready to take everything he's got in New York City. He said numerous times that he believes he ends this fight in the first round. And, and you know, the conversations that I've had with him kind of believe that he believes that as well. I mean, talk about delusion. Do you see that as a delusion as well? He's dangerous. You know, you saw it in the Comey fight uh, previously. Uh, many knockouts on that record as well. This is going to be a firefight as well, though, at the same time. You're going to have to dig deep deeper than you've ever dug before in this fight to come out on top. But also, another question is, do you feel that potentially he's overlooking you, talking about a lot of these other fights, whether it's Devin, whether it's Tank, all these other guys as well? You seem to be fired up for this. Do you believe deep down he wants this as bad as you do? No, he, he does not want this as bad as I, I want it. I mean, so whatever uh, prediction he's making, no problem. One round, no problem. But we are fully focused and we are ready for 12 rounds. That is a testament to the fight I am and a testament to the hard work that I have put in. So uh, let's see what he does after that first round when it ain't over. And I'm still standing there because when he has been in the bright lights and enjoying his time and having fun and lapping it up, no problem. You're the big celebrity. You're in the bright lights. I've been in the dark, in the trenches, in the gym, the hard work, blood, sweat and tears. I'm hungry. He says he's hungry. He's lying. I am hungry. So uh, we are ready. We're ready for war. And I'm excited. I'm so happy that uh, it's on. Back with you shortly, George, and Javier as well, before I go to TFM and see him. Champ, um, you, you seem to be honest when you say you believe one round. I mean, I know anything can happen in boxing, but you, you still believe you finished this fight early on Saturday. It's been a long, long time coming. We kind of want some value for our money and some rounds as well, but you come into this with bad intentions against George Cambosis on Saturday. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for coming out here, and I want to thank God first and foremost, man. I, we wouldn't be here without him. Uh, thank you to Matchroom Boxing, thank you Eddie Hearn, and thank you to Zone. Um, I'm very appreciative of everything. I'll say it like this, yeah, of course, man. Don't believe me when we said we're going to beat Lomachenko, and I guess nobody wants to believe me now. So it's all about reminding everybody it's a takeover, you know. Um, he's a businessman. He's a businessman. It's cool with me. What, what Mike Tyson once said, man, I'm a killer. These guys are businessmen. It's a difference. So the thing is, you got to have that mentality why we have the greats. We out here to kill. We ain't here to beat business. Uh, only business there is out here, but when we in that ring, there ain't no business there. So just like man, you shut up, bro. I let you talk. Shut the fuck up. Just I let like you talk. Ready to but anyway, you so I say it like this. I say it like this. Sit down, be humble. I'm gonna be like you this. Be all right? Shut the fuck up. Hey, look, man. I am who I am. This is your champion. And I'm the champion. This is your champion. I am the champion. I'm the people's champion. You're gonna lose them all on So at the end of the day, look, I stay focused on what I gotta do. These are earned. Was never given to me. 
And for someone that has been bullied as a little kid for being a fat kid, you have, you an asshole for being the way you are, bro. And be real with you, man. Um, you don't gotta be the way you are. You haven't even made it to anything yet, and you acting like your shit don't stink. I'm saying like heart. this, though. I'm saying like this. I look forward to November 27th. I look forward to putting on the shows for everybody, and I look forward to just coming back, man. Coming back on on top again, man. I, I've been I've been over here just observing everything, seeing what everybody's been talking about. What they feel about me, what they want to want, what they want to see about me. So it's like, all right, cool. I got this. I got this because it's me. The takeover. At the end of the day, we can say a lot. His coach, my coach. We can do whatever we want. But at the end of the day, when that bell rings, it's just me and George Cambosa Jr. And at the end of the day, man, this is MSG. This is this Six is my spikes. home. Six fights, six knockouts. And I'm looking forward to just putting on a show for everybody. So I thank everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And um, God bless you all, man. Stay focused on y'all. And I look forward to retaining and defending all my, my unified, undisputed titles. Uh, we'll come back to you in a bit, sir, as well, before I speak to you. But one question I have you talk about the hunger for this fight. He talks about his hunger. He doesn't believe you're as hungry in this fight. You beat Vasily Lomachenko, you know, talks of Haney and Tank and all these people. How hungry are you right now to defend this? Do you think you are as hungry as this man on my left? He could be hungry, but there's a difference between hungry and starving. I'm starving, you know? I'm starving, man. My stomach over here flat and shit, yeah, I can you know? Say that. Thanksgiving's tomorrow, I can't even eat that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, he could be hungry all he want. But I go out there and I'm starving, man. People have been, I'm in the cage that they put me in and they were poking sticks at me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a lion that goes in there and I'm just ready to tear this guy up. I just wanna let him know, man. I let everybody realize and know. You know, you don't, you don't, this didn't come overnight and we didn't change overnight. We are who we are, we keep it real to the thorough. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do to let everybody know this is the takeover. I'm my own boss. You gotta sit down and take it from somebody else. I don't because I work my ass off to get to where I'm at. And I'm continue staying that way because I walk with faith, not by sight. God is my protector. God is the one that's gonna bring me to this victory come Saturday night. Javier, welcome. Uh, a massive fight for you, a massive fight for George as well. A tremendous fight as well between two brilliant lightweights as well. But your man seems confident. It's a, it's a big step up for him. It's a huge step onto the big stage as well, but ready for the ultimate moment. On Saturday night. Absolutely, you know, this is a long time coming. You know, as you mentioned, George, you know, doesn't lack confidence at all. You know, he's trained hard. Um, even after the postponement, I mean, the day he found out the fight was postponed, he was right back in the gym on a treadmill. You know, so you know, is, is that testament to you know his work ethic? You know, that gets him prepared for the bright lights and a big show like this. And again, we appreciate you know you having this on our match room and on the zone. Um, but George, George, George has done the work. He's put in the time. And he's worked his way up for this opportunity. It wasn't just given to him. How do you feel that you know those those breaks in preparation have, have affected George? He's had to stay tremendously focused over the period. This has been a crazy sequence of events, from postponements to you know uh, promises well, that didn't materialise. It must have been frustrating. It was in a, in a way, but you know George is the type. You know he stays focused all the time. You know he's he's one that that lives in the gym basically. So. Um, you know, he had to go back to Australia, but we had a great coach in Australia that, you know, that was able to work with him as well. Um, came back down for the rest of the camp and, and, you know, we did our work to get ready. Tiafimo Senior, welcome. I'm disappointed I missed the action yesterday in the gym, but you've been outspoken. You, you believe in your fighter, you believe in your son, and you believe that he performs in style to retain his belts on Saturday night. We've been here before, you know, that's the thing that people are understand. Uh, you know, these guys overwork their asses because they know they're going to fight somebody dangerous in my son. And that's the big mistake they make. I don't overtrain my son. I leave that in the ring, you know. When he goes in the ring and he does this devastating knockout that I know is going to win knockout of the year, and I'm saying it here and I'm never wrong, you know. No so, Shadamas. No Shadamas, you know. So, um, come, you know, come the weapon 27, this boy's going to be running, you know. That's the only thing that's going to save him for the first round, you know, because he's going to go right after him, just like Mason Menard. Same thing, you know, which is crazy because it was like uh, Oklahoma was uh, uh, playing that day, right? When you knocked out Mason Menard. You know, so we're here to put up a show. You know, we're not going to let down Madison Square Garden. We never have and we never will. We're here to stay forever. You know, nobody can beat my son. Our style is untouchable you know so um i'm not even met this is his moment 
You know, he's never scared. He goes in there to have a good time. I mean, this is what he lives for, you know? And when you go in with that confidence, ain't nobody in the planet could take you. And, and, and we don't have to worry about going up in weight, you know, because we're carrying that punch, you know? The other people have to. You know, we already showed it at 135. I think it's time for us to move up to see what happens, you know? But well, we're here to stay. Obviously, we saw yesterday, you know, we know you're outspoken, but what was that? Was that frustration? Was that a show? Was that listen, just... I, I, listen, I just walked, you know, the man over there came and grabbed me, so... Like a little chihuahua. <laughs> little chihuahua. Yeah. A little chihuahua, so I had to do my thing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, at the end of the day, you know, these people are going to be forgotten. Little chihuahua. You're going to be forgotten. You're going to be forgotten, bro. Chihuahua, come out Chihuahua. One day wonder, one day wonder, you're baby. Very, very lucky. Nobody man. gonna know your you're name after this fight. Uh, you're a clown. You're what do you mean I'm a clown, clown, bro? The world. Listen, I'm not, no more, I'm not even gonna talk no more, bro. I'm not even gonna talk no more. I can't wait for Saturday, man. Oh, I can't wait. I've been waiting a long wait. time. Since June 19th. Since June 19th. Listen, 19th, I'll man. Be I know waiting. what my son is gonna do to you, man. I see it every day in the gym. I see it every day in the gym. And you don't see what we do in the gym, but you do see. You do say third sort of Well, you're going to tap him to death? death. Like this. <laughs> you're going to tap him to death? I say it like this, man. You got no pop, bro. Yeah, you're going to tap him to death? You'll find out the hell. I say like this. This is his biggest fight. We'll fight you with one hand. This is his biggest fight. Yeah, it's a lot of Lomachenko had one hand. That's right. <laughs> but I do what I yeah. do. Let's get out of here. Where you think Lomachenko was running? Listen, one hand. One hand. You will not do that. Why you think Lomachenko was running? Who fought that man? I told you. I told you. Ain't no point. Oh, man. These, these are oh, suckers. Man. These are fucking cockroaches. Uh, you know you're the saying? We step on them. 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 We keep it the way yeah. we do. I'll say it like this. We keep it the way we do. Everybody. Tune in Saturday night. I ain't playing no games here, man. We're gonna hold these guys, and bro. And I'm gonna say it like this. Nah, nah, and when I hold this fool, we're sending you back to Australia. Just like you got humble guests tonight. You're gonna get yeah, yeah, back to Australia. Who shit, shit, man? I'm gonna say it like Ooh, this, man. This is gonna be a great fight. Everybody tune in, man. Hey, it's gonna be the week of Thanksgiving weekend. Everybody's gonna have a great time. They can talk about that shit. You can suck my dick afterwards. Nah, for everybody, man, just enjoy the fight. These right here. These right here. They stay. This right here. Lap them up. Right. Lap them up. Enjoy if everybody, man, uh, thank them. you guys again for all the yes, 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 yes. November 27th, yes. Saturday night. Because I didn't want to get in trouble, trouble, brother. Honestly, that's, that's why I said that. We I didn't want to get suspended because you guys are looking to get out of this fight. Very lucky, man. You're looking to get out of this fight, man. And I ain't going to let that happen. We have been here every single fight. Let your boy and my boy go in there and settle it. Hey, and you know what? That's exactly what's going on. And what did you do? You crossed the line at the media. What line, line, bro? I wasn't even thinking about no line. You big mouth. Your boy. What the hell are you talking I about, bro? I, I, I last time I heard, bro, I this is a free country. I can walk wherever the fuck I, I want to walk. I was watching your boy's social Get media. Get the hell out of here, bro. You I guys want to get out of the fight. IFL was doing an yeah, interview. That's what we're here. And that's I saw TA's face on social media last night where it's gone wild. And he was looking and listening to his old man. Embarrassed. Gone, what a dickhead. Woo. That's what they You should thank me. You should thank me. You should thank me. You should thank me that happened. You should thank me that happened. And I'll tell you like hey, this, man. I don't know about your boy, but I stand for my father. I think everybody know that. So, hey, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Chill, bro. Chill. Because when I put your boy down, don't let it happen, bro. Come on, sit down. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool, man. This is my show. Remember that. This is my show. It's my show. We're taking over. With all respect, too. With all respect, too. You know what I'm saying? But this is our show. We the takeover. Is This is the zone takeover. This is match room takeover. This is MSG takeover. This right here is mine for the takeover. So remember that. It's going to be a beating. I'm fucking it. I'm starving. Y'all ain't ready for any of this, man. I work my ass off, bro. I work my ass off. I work my ass off. I work my ass off. You know what I'm saying, boy? I'm just telling you straight up, bro. My eyes don't fucking lie. You see, I my told you, don't fucking lie. Try to get away. I'll tell you like this, boy. My eyes don't lie, bro. I'll tell you like this, man. My eyes don't lie. I can't wait to fuck you. You're way too cool. Go, Lord. Do what you got to do at the end of the day. Fuck you. 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 These are your curse. These are your curse. These are your curse. Because look at the people around you. Look at the people around you. 
you. Hey, walk on. Walk this on. Right you know what, man? Congrats. Yeah, I, just, yeah, I know everyone. everybody. I'm big this every, if life. anybody is betting for Cambosa to beat me, it's because y'all don't want to see me fight the likes of Tank, Haney, Garcia, Jeff Taylor, all these guys. Loma again, if you He's want. He's fighting all of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, show you. I'm going to stay focused on what's at task today. And I'm going to stay focused on you. We're the only ones doing it, baby. Yeah. And after yeah. I cut Nakatani, 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 Nakatani,